Winter calm, rain or shine, Prince Amanda trains. He's been doing it since he was four years old. For now, he's hoping to catch on with FC Edmonton, a brand new team in a brand new Canadian Premier League. It wants to train the country's next generation of elite players in time for 2026. Amanda wants to be right there. It would mean that all, all the hard work that I put in through the years, the sweat, the tears, everything, it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot. But other homegrown future pro hopefuls are finding their loyalties tested. Luis Martinez is proud of his native Mexico, a traditionally competitive team in a way Canada is not. I was born in Mexico, but more than half my life has been in Canada. So, I don't know, it'll be a tough decision. <laughs> Top Canadian players have decided to leave before. Take Calgary's Owen Hargraves. He was a world-class talent, but he chose to play for England in the 2002 and 2006 World Cups. And that highlights a big challenge facing Canadian soccer. The country hasn't qualified since 1986, failing to score in three games. One nothing, Hungary. In order to train better players, Canada will need high-level coaching. The coach education system is all being looked at and I can just see in working with coaches and players that have the great opportunity to do so, things are getting better. The man in charge of grooming a potential World Cup team sees no pressure in today's FIFA decision, just opportunity. John Herdman led the Canadian women to Olympic bronze twice. He knows there is work to do, but believes just winning the World Cup bid will inspire a generation. The opportunity to represent this country in your home city in your own country, with, with everyone behind you, those things are, are what dreams are made of. But Herdman's got even bigger ambitions, to qualify the men for the World Cup in Qatar four years from now, hoping to set the team up for success when the eyes of the world turn to Canada in 2026. Rafi Bujikani and CBC News, Edmonton. Before today's vote, Canada, U.S. and Mexico's joint bid made presentations to try to convince FIFA's delegates, and one stood out, a speech from a 17-year-old member of Canada's men's national team. My name is Alfonso Davies. My parents are from Liberia and fled the Civil War. I was born in Ghana in a refugee camp. It was a hard life. But when I was five years old, a country called Canada welcomed us in. And the boys on the football team made me feel at home. I'm a proud Canadian citizen. And my dream is to someday compete in the World Cup. Maybe even in my hometown of Edmonton. I played matches in Canada, Mexico, and the United States. The people in North America have always welcomed me. If given the opportunity, I know they'll welcome you. Thank you. Davies has attracted international attention from soccer scouts for his aggressive, hard-charging style. Beyond the national men's team, he also plays professionally for the Vancouver Whitecaps.